everybody, it's Lori Houston. Thank you for joining me for another Flower Pop. It is the weekend again, and you probably won't see this video until um, some sometime during the week. I am actually doing peacock colors. So this is really a double whammy here because it's my Flower Pop and my peacock series combined. And I've already pre-mixed my paints in these nifty color cups. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, what I love about these cups, I got them on Amazon. Um, they're at tcpglobal.com, but they're great. They come in different sizes. You can get the lids and they just, they last for so long, the colors last. Um, but today's colors is going to be um, the turquoise blue. That's by Liquitex. This is a tube paint. And then I went with the Pebeo dark ultramarine blue. Then we have the Liquitex Bright Aqua Green. Can you see that? Pretty. And then I have Golden's Dark. Um, this is actually the Permanent Violet Dark. And then I mixed this Art Alchemy. I think it's Romance Pink. Yes, with it. It's going to be pretty. And then I used Pebeo's Iridescent Precious Gold. Oh my goodness, this is so gorgeous. So I'm actually gonna be doing a swipe technique. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm using five colors, which is really crazy because um, I usually only do uh, three or four in my flower pot. So I'm anxious to see. I'm, gonna, I'm planning on doing a, a much larger canvas. And when we start, I'll give you the size of the canvas. All of my paints, because they were two paints, I mix them two and a half to one. So two and a half parts Floetrol to one part paint. Um, and again, this is gonna be another one in my Peacock series. I can't wait to get started. So let's get painting. Hi everybody. Okay, I'm over to my swiping station and I actually have never done a 20 by 20 canvas before. Um, this is a double whammy. We're gonna be doing um, the Flower Pop plus the Peacock series together. I'm very excited about this. Um, the colors are going to be interesting. Um, like I said, I Google the different types of peacock feathers to get my color palette. And um, I went over that earlier and, you know, we're going to get started. I guess I'm going to swipe with white today. I'm going to go ahead and lay down a thin layer of white at the top of my 20 by 20 canvas. There we go. That's just enough. And I'm going to, where do we start? I guess I'm going to start. And I'm just, like I said, no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to lay some paint down. These colors are very rich. There's not a lot of soft colors in this palette. Um, the only one that's a little bit light or bright is going to be the gold. So I'm, I'm very interested to see what kind of pop we get. And if we're able to create um, flowers that are somewhat in the peacock color schemes. This one always seems to take over this bright aqua, but we're gonna, we're gonna use it. And it's funny when I Googled it, there were so many different peacock feathers um, color palettes. I was like, ah, didn't even think of that. Okay. And if it doesn't look like a peacock colors, feathers, then it'll just be a pretty flower pop. But again, these colors, very interesting. I don't think I would have just picked these out and put them together in general. So, and then here's the famous, we all know that most of the peacock feathers you see have this luscious purple. And I notice I need a little bit of color here. I tend to do one side of the canvas more than the other. Okay, one more swoop of gold. Okay. That is going to be amazing. Okay, we're going to pull this back a little bit. And we're just going to start and 
gently mixing the paints. Look at that. Ooh, a lot prettier than I thought it would be. Like I said, I was a little worried. I can certainly see the shimmer in the um, gold. It's coming right through. Beautiful. And I'm just trying to cover the canvas, make it even, as even as I can. And um, no rhyme or reason in the color. That's why I love these. Because every time, look at the cells popping up. <gasps> oh, beautiful. I have a feeling this is going to be gorgeous. sure there we go I don't want to do too much more but now I'm going to cover my sides like I always do cover these up just to be safe just use your leftover drippings here and you'll see I didn't use my nifty washing machine holder today because pan because um, this is such a large canvas I'm very excited. This is my largest canvas that I've ever completed. Let's see if I can do it. Um, I think my biggest concern with a flower pot doing this is, will I get the flowers all blown out and fixed the way I like them before it starts to dry, but I think it'll be fine. Whew, beautiful colors. Oh my goodness. I'm just covering this canvas good. It's so much easier when you do it now um, and then instead of waiting till the end. You still can fix it. I figured out that you can almost fix just about anything. Yeah, so that's the nice beauty of this. Okay, they are covered. All right. Now we all know what the next thing is. And it looks like my um, line up here you see where it wasn't really even but that's okay uh, because the probably the canvas is a little bit unlevel I'm just gonna torch really quick get all these bubbles out before we swipe beautiful lots of bubbles you can see how gorgeous this is. It really is pretty. Okay. There we go. Now again, I'm gonna now I'm gonna do a little bit thicker all the way down. Okay, now we're gonna need a pretty big paper towel. And I have it all ready here, and I'm going to dampen the edges. I got my water ready. All right. Let's see. This will be interesting to swipe something this big. Oh my goodness. I fill my water bottle up. Okay, so we're going to. I'm ready now. Want to move this out of the way. Okay, so we want to get this settled in the white paint. Let's lay it on there. Oh, good. All right, are you all ready? Let's pull. We're going to pull gently. Gently get all the edges. Kind of lift. There's a lot of white paint. That's great. It's looking good. Just let it kind of fall over the edge, very on its own. Oh my goodness. I couldn't have asked for a better background. So far, so good. All right, let's pop these bubbles really quick. I'm gonna get trapped in there. Turn this up. Let's see some bubbles. Here. Take a little longer with this larger canvas, like I 
I said, this is this is all about what I wanted to start doing. This larger canvas. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and tilt this up a little bit and um, get that bare edge at the top covered, and then we're gonna take a look at it. All right, let's tip up just a little. Move this paint. You can tell it's pretty even, moving pretty evenly. It's great. Kind of rock it a little bit. All right, rock it back to the center. Get the lines. This backdrop, backdrop for the flower pop is going to be really, really pretty. Get that corner a little bit more. Okay. That's good. Now I want to make sure. Let me wipe my hands off. Just kind of want to take a look at it. So far, so good. I see something right here. I want to make sure there's no goober in my paint. But first, let's just um, let's go ahead and torch. Let's see all this. Oh yeah, it's very, very nice. This is a very beautiful backdrop. It's kind of dreamy looking. I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you don't get the bubbles, then they'll pop later and then you've got a little crater looking thing in your paint and don't like that. So. Alright. That is beautiful. Can you all see that? I always like turning my lights out so that you can see the painting better. Turn this one off and see if that helps the glare. Uh, I think there's still a glare and you can actually, hi, you can see me in it. That's okay. <laughs> all right. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see what we get for our pop of color with this flower pop. So let's move over to our flower blowing station. I'm gonna get set up and I'll be right back. Hi everybody, okay, we're back. We are over to my flower blowing station. I have decided that I am going to use this as the top and this is the bottom. Again, I have never done a flower pop that is a 20 by 20. So this is going to take some time. I uh, most likely will not talk a lot so that I can get through it without the um, background drying on me. Um, so we're gonna get started and I'm gonna have to use the puffy so that I can actually reach over to blow these flowers. This, this is definitely going to be um, interesting. So here we go. I just have to decide um, the composition. So I think I'm going to do something like this here, and I'm going to go about the same here. There we go. And now, the fun part. I think it does have the colors of a peacock. Pretty, very pretty. Wow, love it. Pretty, love them. I 
see the cells coming up look at these petals oh my goodness beautiful that looks great okay let's keep going
today is a good day to day and not tomorrow. There's no time to borrow today. Well, something's gotta give today. It's a good still don't like this one there we go maybe if I fold it over a bit okay that's better okay I love it it's definitely definitely peacock colors so when I went on and I googled it I matched good as I could and it is definitely showing peacock colors. It's beautiful. I think, I think I'm gonna here I'm just thinking this one looks kind of odd. So I'm just thinking about what I can do for this single stem here to make it look a little bit better. I think I'll put one here, one here, just little singles. There we go. One here. Cute, different. Okay, just gonna add these stems. Okay. That is so adorable. Just making this a full, lots of flowers, I think. Do one here. I got a leaf over there. I wonder if I should. Well, let me see. I'm going to clean this off. This leaf. I want it to kind of lay over. There we go. I like that one. I'm just trying to decide what else I need to add. Okay. There. I'm pretty. And with this leaf, trying to get it to sit the right way. There we go. Pretty. All right, let me blow that out a little. leaves kind of are shrinking. There we go. 
I love that one. That one's good. Okay. I think that's good. I, I really think this is going to be beautiful when it dries. For, for 20 by 20 and it being my first one, I think it turned out amazing. So, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to try to turn it around so that you can see it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to do. It's a little bit nerve-wracking since I've never done one this big, but um, I really enjoyed it. I'm actually just going to turn this whole thing around. Take this right out. There we go. Turn it around. It's just too big, I think, to, to pick up. There we go. Now you can see. Oh, it's, it is just, it's so different. It's, what I love about it, you've got some cells going in here. This is absolutely gorgeous, like a peacock. A lot of these, a lot of these petals are. And it's, it's not the, um, you know, straight stems that I do sometimes. This is more of a muted, um, different look. That looks like a peacock feather for sure. So, please let me know what you think of my first 20 by 20 um, flower pop in the Peacock series as well. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit long. Um, I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit for you. And um, please leave some comments below on what you would like to see. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified when I have more videos. There's a little bell that you can hit. And I would love comments. Please email me at lauriehouston56 at gmail.com if you have any questions or if I can help you in any way. Have a great Sunday, everybody. Take care. And until next time.